now we'll be working on exponential models so i'm taking two forms like a simply or you can say a t is a function of t a naught e to the r t i call a naught is a constant r t two variables sometimes we give you r constant and then t variable sometimes we say t is constant and r to determine and e is the known value 2.71828 continued or we can write in terms of b so then what we see between these two what is the link between these two you can just say e to the rt is b to the t so if you just drop this t from both you can say e to the r is your b so we'll be using this concept later in some examples Suppose you want to invest P dollar in an account paying R percent interest for 10 years when your interest compounded may be say annually, semi-annually, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, daily and so on. So when we have investment monthly then my N is 12. When my investment is quarterly N will be 4 when my investment is weekly and will be 52 and like that semi-annually and will be 2 so we'll take some example and apply this formula where we have exponential type form and how to solve this one using calculator i will talk about that so when the interest is calculated annually our n is 1 and the invested amount is 49,000 which is p rate is 5% we can write as a decimal 0 0.05 and t is given as 5 years when you plug all of this here and then use your calculator hit enter you get the answer and we'll write this answer and we are done for this we'll be writing now this one for semi-annually so my n is 2 so I put a 2 here and t is 5, n is 2, that gives me 10 here. We plug this one in the calculator and see the answer. So now the calculation gives me, we have 49,000, 1 plus 0 0.05 to the 2, exponent will be 5 times 2 is 10. So that gives me $62,724.14, rounded to two decimal places. We'll take the next one quarterly. Now for quarterly calculation, we have our n equals 4 so we plug n equals 4 and then 4 times 5 is 20 49 so 49,000 times 1 plus 0 0.05 over 4 exponent will be 20 so that gives me $62,819.82 so for monthly compounding our n is 12 because we'll have 12 times calculation in a year so you have 12 months in a year now when you plug n equals 12 and then 12 times 5 is 60 put it in the calculator 49,000 1 plus 0 0.05 over 12 to the 60 so that gives you $62,884.58 rounded to two decimal places now you can compare all these results so this should be actually part D and we are done thank you we are taking the same question now but in a two different forms the first one we said that if the interest is compounded daily what will happen if it is compounded continuously what will happen so then when it is compounded daily it is just like this type of form but when it is continuously then it will go with T e to the RT so you can see that the expression we have in here with the exponent n when x is sorry when n is really really large without bound then 1 plus r over n to the n will convert to e to the r and this conversion you will see again in calculus class when you do the limit of functions so in this we just use 
uh, the formula. So I'm just putting all these values here and then use the graphing calculator and see what answer we are getting and how we compare these two. So you can see that when I have four, no, 49,000 times 1 plus 0 0.05 over 365 with the exponent 365 times 5 I am keeping within parentheses. Then I get $62,916.17 rounded to two decimal places for daily compounding. Now we'll check what happens with continuous compounding. So let me type. I have 49,000 gives me E and then to the point 0 0.05 I have already parentheses times 5. Enter. So I get this amount. So now you can compare the results. The daily compounding giving you $62,916.17, but continuous compounding still gives you a little more, $62,917.25.